we got some very special guests this weekend on Loudwire Reloaded. The Metal Gods. Yeah, Judas Priest. They have uh, a brand new live CD, DVD, and Blu-ray called Battle Cry coming out on March 25th. We got Rob Halford and Glenn Tipton on the phone. And since Rob always has a microphone in his hand, let's talk to Glenn first. Glenn's the silent but deadly type. How you doing? I'm doing good. Well, I, I, except for a cough, I was for two months now. But apart from that, I'm okay. I want to ask you a couple things about your, your guitar sound and some of your gear and stuff like that. Uh, for instance, like what are some of the things that you uh, are integral to your guitar sound? And how is that altered by the live show or studio recordings? I mean, is it completely different setup for live versus studio? Oh, totally. Um, when we're on stage, you know, I use angle amps. I use my Hamer guitars. I'm now working with ESP. Uh, and we've just done some signature versions of their Viper guitar, which is based on an SG, which I used for years. Uh, so that's coming along now. It sounds great. Uh, in conjunction with the EMG pickups, which are custom wound and called Vengeance pickups. So um, you can scream for vengeance there. Yeah. Uh, and so on, on stage, when I go on stage, I use guitars that if they get broke or stolen or uh, self-combust, um, I can always replace them. I consider them a tool. I may not get exactly the same sound as the album, but it's close enough, and I don't worry about losing my favorite guitar or right. a guitar that's got history or that means so much to me. The guitar on stage is a tool that's got to be robust and put up with a lot of action, you know. Sure. When I'm in the studio, I use anything, you know, strats. I've got some uh, uh, grade 335 Gibsons, SGs, or I'll use my hammers, or now... Uh, you know, the, the ESP guitars as well, which um, uh, uh, were custom made for me and, and therefore suit my style. I, I, I don't like much wiring in a guitar, you know, I like simple three-way switch, if that, and a volume control. I can do the rest, uh, you know, with my pedal board or it, I can use anything in a studio, you know, even, even handheld amps, little, little, small little amps that just give a unique sound for a certain part of the song. Although the main song, part of the song will be a typical sort of Glenn Tipton or sound, if you like. Yeah. Um, I, I like I, I've always been stuck by Ian, so my my sound sort of um, mid-range upwards, you know, <laughs> you have to cut through the bass right. sound. Uh, <laughs> I obviously don't have to do that right. on stage, I, I, in the studio so much, but on, on stage... And he's thunderous, Ian's thunderous, you know, he's, he's a great bass player. Battle Cry live CD, DVD, Blu-ray comes out on March 25th. Glenn, thank you so much for your time today. Okay, man. Take care, sir. And you. We talk to Rob Halford after we play a track off the new Battle Cry CD. This one really needs no introduction. Rank in the what? Rank in the what? Rank in the what? Let's go break that law right now!
Breaking the Law here on Loudwire Reloaded. That is a great track, a staple in the Judas Priest catalog, and that version from the live concert CD DVD Battle Cry coming out on March 25th. In fact, the metal god himself, lead vocalist of the, of the band, Rob Halford on the phone, man. I'll tell you what, you sound better than ever on this live recording. I do? Yeah. I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I tell you that... I- at this point, um, I just put my head down and screaming to the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Hope for the best. But uh, hey, that, that's a great song. A break in the law. It has just become an anthem for priests, metal maniacs all over the world. You know, it's the right. message that it that it says, and that special moment when uh, at the front of the stage you get Glenn and. Uh, and Richie and myself doing the head banging together. It's like a signature vibe that we still love to do. No matter how many times we play that song, it feels like the first time. And watching some of the videos that I've seen and haven't seen you guys in concert, really sounds and feels like Richie Faulkner has really added a spark to the band. Yeah, we, we can't say enough about Richie. Um, I mean, you know, it's hard to condense it, but I mean, if you look at Battle Cry, I mean, all of our fans, millions of fans that have that saw the last tour, um, when you look at Battle Cry now, you know, you take it home and put it on your laptop or your, your home theater or whatever, and just look at uh, Richie's uh, charisma and energy and, mm-hmm. and all of the great stuff that's coming out of his hands. Um, it, it's wonderful, it really is. And uh, yeah, I mean, he's infectious. Uh, the fans will tell you that. You know, once the, once the show kicks off, he's at the edge of the stage, uh, connecting, and uh, and that's a really cool thing to be having happen with uh, with Priest. Absolutely. Now, Battle Cry was filmed in front of eighty five thousand fans. Now, tell us what it was like. I mean, you, you're in control of that many people for whatever time you're on stage. How does that feel when, when all your fans are assembled in one venue like that? Well, you, you never take anything for granted. I, I think no matter how many how many of our wonderful fans we, we play for, you know, we always give you 100%. That's what's, you know, kept Priest alive all of these years, I think, is this wonderful rapport that we have with our metal maniacs around the world. But when we go out on stage in, in this dimension, it's it's absolutely so larger than life, you know. Mm-hmm. It, it's a wonderful way to project metal in its biggest sense. Mm-hmm. And uh, metal works everywhere, from a club to Wacken. Yeah. Uh, but I think for all of us, it's a special moment when we see it in this type of environment this type of atmosphere this big stage with a massive light show mm-hmm. and uh, and then the, the cranes the movie cranes when they sweep out across all of the metal heads banging their heads and horns up <laughs> it's magic it, it's it's for priests it's for metal it's for everybody and this is why we wanted to uh, capture the um the metal atmosphere that happens at festivals but they're all very special all of these metal festivals around the world wherever they are but in this particular instance, uh, it is, uh, it, it's, it's a real treat to, to get all that down on film and audio and uh, for our metalheads, our fans, to uh, relive the moment again. And if you weren't there, you definitely feel like you are there yeah. when you put it on. Absolutely. Uh, you know, put, yeah, put the headphones on. That's what I do. And just in front of the screen and get, <laughs> dive in. Um, it's incredible. We're very, very happy with the way the whole thing uh, turned out so strong. We hope you get as much pleasure and, and excitement and, and power from Battle Cry as we did when we played it live. And we've made it now for you. Because this is for you. And enjoy it. And horns up and keep the metal fight. There you go. Again, Battle Cry coming out CD, DVD, and Blu ray on March 25th. Rob Halford, it's been a great pleasure having you on the show again. Thank you, buddy. Always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you for keeping uh, the metal uh, streaming live around the airwaves. And uh, all the best, buddy. Ah, you really can't find a nicer guy who is a rock icon like Rob Halford. Very gracious man. And again, that Battle Cry Live CD, DVD, Blu ray drops on March 25th.